What's up everybody, it is Raven J and I am back again with another unboxing video uh, album Friday, so let's go right ahead and get into it. So, so today we are unboxing Little Kim's, well Lil' Kim, not Little, Lil' Kim um, hardcore album on vinyl from Vinyl Me Please. It's actually a hot pink disc. Um, it's been out for a while, but I just brought it not too long ago and it just came. And I'm super excited to open it. I have the the like the actual CD, um, and then I have the vinyl. So this is probably one of my favorite female rap albums, amongst others, uh, of course. But I really love this one. It's such a classic. Like the intro is just like crazy. It's just the out the intro is just so iconic and legendary to me. But um, yeah. So. I would not make this video about another artist, about other people. I feel like this video is about Kim and we just want to make it about Kim. Because I notice a lot of other people tend to want to mention other female rappers when they're embracing or talking about one. And then they want to tear the other ones down. No, we're not doing that. Okay, period. We're just not doing that. So, I'm excited to open it. So when I open it, I'm going to look for the actual CD to compare it with this because I've never seen it on a vinyl. So I'm a little bit shocked and surprised. I'm like peeping a little bit, like peeping. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and, and check it out. So I'm about to flip it. Bam. Hardcore. Little Kim. That parental advisory is very necessary, okay? <laughs> But yeah, this album is really, really dope and iconic and I love it. Intro in the minor. Like, let me tell you, cause you know, I wasn't even, I don't even think I was born when this album came out. Or I probably was born and just a baby. I don't remember when it came out, but when I first discovered the album, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, like I'm not even gonna front and pretend like child, I've been listening to it since I was young. No, I wasn't. I just discovered the album probably like maybe eight years ago when I first heard it. When it got to the, it, I'm gonna tell you, uh, when Spotify started, you know, being big and blew up, I was listening to it and you know, I, I went ahead and pressed it on the minor and I noticed it's a guy walking down the street going into the movie theater, asking for extra butter and all of this other stuff. So I'm like, okay, what is this? Then I hear moaning. It is basically a guy walking into a movie theater theater to watch Kim's sex tape. And he's jacking off the process of it, moaning and all type of stuff. So I was, me as a kid, I'm listening to it like, what? And I kept playing it over and over and over because I was like, no, I, I don't think I'm hearing this right. And I just kept playing it over and over and over until it computed to my brain what the hell was really going on. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, all right. I fell in love with that intro and I can't listen to this album without listening to the intro first. Like you have to listen to the intro because it just really puts you in the mood. You really like vibe out to the album and understand it even more. So, I mean, she, I mean, she do warn you at the beginning, like what you finna hear, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I love this. So we about to open it up. All right, so we got the insert here. So, I know I saw an interview um, from her, not like a recent interview with her and um, she was doing like a fashion type thing and I know she mentioned that these pictures wasn't supposed to be a part of the album, I think. I could be wrong. I think it was this one that she was saying. Um, it wasn't supposed to be a part of the album, but Biggie picked them. He put them in there, I'm not for sure. These pictures wasn't even supposed to be a part of the album. It wasn't supposed to be even in it or involved. So I was like, oh, really? But yeah, this picture right here always was my favorite. It was always my favorite. It was se sexy, but classy in the same, you know, sentence, so 
It's the track listing, credits, these the thank you notes. So that's the insert, and now I'm about to open up the hot pink disc. I can really look at it. So let's see. Ooh. Ah, look at that. Bright, bright pink. So I have another disc like this. It's actually Sierra that I got the other day, and it's pink just like this. Um, true, it's hot pink, but it's, it's like a little bit of white in it. And then I see like a streak of purple. So it's like a marble type vibe. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it like, it's like a marble. So I'm gonna show y'all my Sierra disc that's the same color as this as well. So this is, well, oh no. Well, Sierra album is more pink than this one. So yeah, yeah, Sierra's one is a different color. It's brighter. So. I got this from, um, yeah, Vinyl Me Please, and I forgot how much it is, <laughs> but I put the link below, it's still available, so y'all could cop it if you want it, but that's this one, and then this is this two. Like, wow. So it's not that bright, but it is, it's very pink. <laughs> it's very very pink but yeah this is it that's the album this is this so I'm gonna go look for the the CD that I have so I can compare it with this one and I'll be right back all right y'all so I got the CD right here <clears throat> the disc and this is the back of it this is the back right here so I just brought this vinyl um, but my godfather had a whole bunch of CDs and he was getting rid of them. So he gave them to me and this was part of the collection. So he got this back in 96 when, it, when the album came out. But this is the inside. So with, hold on. So this is the booklet that is in the album. So it falls out like that. And this. So these pictures on here is actually colored. Um, they're not black and white, but on this one, which is the insert, it's actually black and white. So, hold on, because some of the pictures that's on here not on here. Okay, so this picture, this is the like the thank you notes right here. So these, that two pictures. Oh, let me get this together. Right there. Track listing credits, thank you notes. Then we have this beautiful picture. That this picture is not in the the vinyl, but girl, it's a lot going on. <laughs> Ew. So that picture, those two, and we have my favorite picture. That there. Then we have the album cover, which is here. So you see how you can read hardcore, like literally right there. But with this one, you can't really read it. It's like, I don't know who, like, who printed that? <laughs> like you can't even read it right there. But yeah, that's that. And then this is the disc. It's actually like purple. This disc is purple. And then we have that picture that's there. Which this one is on here as well? Yeah. Right 
there. So yeah, that concludes this video, y'all. I ain't gonna take too long, take up too much of your time, but hardcore, iconic, legendary, just amazing, all around, okay? So shout out to Kim, shout out to Vinyl Me Please for reissuing this iconic album. I hope they do her other albums too, that'll be cool. I can add on to the collection, you know? So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, peace.